hate putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. I suppose you're suggesting we take down the man in charge of the PMC that has locked down the entire city. An appealing notion, but how do we possibly begin? Bagley's come across a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we can find and convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. Turn around and... Suspect to join the fun. in your area. Potentially armed and hostile. Received. Brilliant. Moving to intercept. Thank God. Albion personnel are here to serve the community. Obey them. Devout, nibbling away on the rotting carcass of the Suspect is unsighted. Unsighted squad. 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 Unsighted squad
devoured, nibbling away on the rotting carcass of a once free Britain. Yum, yum. Hello, Resistance fans. You're listening to the Punk Podcast, the objective voice of objection for this most objectionable world. I am Andy. Not my real name, so good luck finding me, Monsieur Bloom. My real name is, in fact, Andrew, uh, and I live in, note this down, a deluded pseudo-reality of my own making, which is, in fact, <laughs> the most densely populated place on Earth these days. Bellagia has been snooping into Albion's affairs. Quietly, of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Let's pop in and say hello, shall we? Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. This is somebody who is very paranoid. To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Got it. Wow, the power is surging through me. I believe the main interface is on the rooftop. Those windows up there, are they a good option? Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. Three, give up, go home and resolve to be a better person. Of course, easy peasy. This fellow is rather obsessive when it comes to rigging traps. You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. Of course. Easy peasy. Welcome to Clara Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. Traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed.
Oh, hey! I remember you! One more muscle chief and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. All right, let's not get dramatic. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? <laughs> Ouch. Think more countercultural. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Wait. Just wait. Albion knows you're in London. Killing me won't change that. Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't huh. you? Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish! Look, cuss is worse than you know. Trust me, we know. Jesus, why else would I be here? Maybe, cause Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking Merck's work. We want your help. There's no love lost between us and Cass. He's behind the bombings. He tried to end us. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what- No, no, no! Oh, man. fuck! And I'll be in squads closing in on you. I guess you weren't lying about that part. Fuck, think, Amish, think. Shit, fine. Table, I'll buy you some time. Just go. No! I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. All right, Chief. That was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something. And I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We would have some mad plan to fix all his problems with robot police or automated crop fertilizing or some shit. Society was a technical problem. And people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I've got to switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. It says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. What we need is an insider on the team. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. Okay, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be in cyber security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this. Contagious, it can osmose through your skin just by standing next to an illegal person, so uh, we've got rid of 4,000 of them. My question for you, Alice, is why only 4,000? 
Is that really enough? I will not feel safe until at least another 75 million people have been deported from this country. And I'm here in Britain on my own. <laughs> As a bleeding heart lefty, Andy, I would normally be outraged about this, but really I think mass deportation is a very handy way to break up with a partner. I'm sorry, baby, I love you, but an anonymous source has reported you for snoring really loudly in a French way. <laughs> So, everyone out. No exceptions. Alice, not even you. It's for the good of the country. Everyone out. Unless <laughs> you can prove that your family are in the background of a bayer tapestry. Yeah, yeah, that's right! That's it. Nice oh, to see you again. It's your fun. Hmm. Hmm. Tower of London. It's very heavily guarded. We can't get in there. I'd like to help, fam, but now I just caught a whiff now. With all the CTOS cameras, it'd take him less than five to ID me. I ain't risking my pretty face. We need an Albion insider for our caper, one who's willing to turn coat. I've reached out to a contact who works in a nearby pub. Where better to find a bleakly disillusioned anti-hero numbing their conscience with drink, but secretly desperate for redemption? I've let our contact know what we're in the market for, and she's nearby. Hello, hello. You lot certainly know how to pick your targets. You do know that Albion have set up their headquarters in there, right? We're making the best of a bad situation. If we don't raid the tower and stop this meeting, Cass will inflict his new project on all of us. That's not my idea of a good time. Fucking Nigel Cass. You're right. Nothing good can come of this. Luckily, I hear loads of sob stories working in our pub. And near this place, quite a few from Albion are dissatisfied with the status quo. You turn on the charm, and I'm sure you can get one to join the good guys. Even got a candidate in mind. Intriguing. Send me their details, won't you? I'll have Bagley push it along. Good luck, love. We have an Albion operative on our roster. We should let them know they're needed. I'm excited to see what you're capable of. Very excited. Thanks. I'm ready to bring real justice where it's needed. Lovely. Nigel Cass's meeting will begin soon. Approach the Tower of London when you're ready. If we're lucky, word hasn't spread that you've hung up your jackboots. Just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken by the system face. Oh, and don't forget your uniform. We'll have to do. Looking sharp. Your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look. Anyway, no matter. He's the one who organised our team building activity. 
He's rounded up a few of the prisoners they brought in a little while ago. The ones who didn't have any relatives. He figures it'll make for an easier time when we declare them missing. Right, so the fun part. He's gonna release them into an open field while we get our shots in. I'll bet you a pint I can get rid of ten before you. <laughs> You're on, you slimy bastard. Listen here, I'm going to tell you something, and it's between you and me, completely off the record, yeah? The whole thing's quite disturbing to me. They've got good reason to close off parts of the building, but at the end of the day, it's a load of bollocks. This place is a treasured part of London's history, of its culture. Great, powerful men have ruled over this fortress. The citizens of London have... A word of caution now we're inside. Any disturbance in here and Nigel Cass will surely cancel his meeting. Avoid being detected by your former colleagues or this operation is a bust. Nigel won't have anything important on this floor. How is it you know more about him than I do? Yeah, I was Albion too, if you hadn't tweaked to that. Me and Cass were close once. Looked up to him. <laughs> he was bigger than life, fam. Literally a tech genius. And I was just a gearhead kid. I wanted to be like him. That's why I joined up. Seriously, for real? Didn't find out he was a murderous prick until later. You don't think it's going to make certain uh, aspects of our job redundant, do you? Not a chance. The regular cast takes care of its own. You know that. Fair point. Everything is proceeding on schedule, and Mr. Cass is as determined as ever to make the White Tower as safe as possible from terrorist attacks. I believe he has ensured that every security measure has been properly taken, so that we are all well As he likes to say, there's no other people I heard someone saying dead sick was a matter. They better not be just a bunch of terrorists pretending to have morals. This door clearly requires a security pass. Wonderful. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. You've been up there lately? There are some parts of this city that need a bloody good great show the other some heavy boots. You understand? Yeah, I know what you mean. But there's always the elements. It'll take some time for the forgery to be ready. To keep you occupied, I've dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cassini's death. Sure me. Internal psych assessment AS001 subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass, CEO of Albion. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as the random event. Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia, paranoia, distorted blame and recurring flashbacks. However, he appears to have channeled his anger and self-described powerlessness into his work to ensure that Albion become, quote, a mechanism for preventing unpredictable violence. It seems somewhat of a mania edging on psychosis. For me, this raises concerns about Mr. Cass's fitness to run a multinational security company. But I cannot, at this time, make any recommendation beyond continued monitoring, especially considering that I have been asked to close this file. 
Jesus Christ, me have issues, but this, yeah, this is a next level, you know. Them choose him, are all people to secure London? Blood clot. Yeah, well, Nigel's never close to anyone but his dad. And me, I guess. Never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Let's give it a go anyway. Nigel Cass awaits. Seems a bit tense. How are you getting on with those metrics? The deadline is coming up quickly. We wouldn't do to miss it. He's presenting great stakeholders right now. I know, I know, but if I mess this up, then the whole project is delayed. I don't know how. Don't even joke about it. I don't even want to think about what Director Cass would do. Just, just make sure you get it done. Welcome to Project Themis. Our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you. But I promise you, that with the launch of Project Temis, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, I was hoping you called us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. <laughs> No, oh, it's all right. The Commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well, for one, Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. I can get the Defence Minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. <gasps> it's the human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Tidus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? Uh, no, we'll be ready. And just in time, criminals running our streets, illegals threatening our families, the police commissioner himself, assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard, but here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. A building-wide security sweep has been initiated due to Dodge Breach. I warned you about that forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close look at you. I need an exit. The catacombs, fam. That was fun. You don't look familiar. Thank you. 
Absolutely disgusting. Made you an action in there, didn't you? Man can be very uh, persuasive. But in control, that was for effect. But also to get results. To get Themis launched as soon as possible. I don't like this. What was that? Albion's top secret project is an automated killing machine. And it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch. We have to get Themis out of his hands. I'll prepare a briefing. Will we see you there, Hamish? Pretty face, not risking, remember? But patch me in. You and me got some scheming to do, Bagley. Drop in the